Welcome to Queer <laughs> Conversations. I'm your host, G of Verity TV, and I have two amazing guests with me today. They are from Cruise Planners. They are travel specialists, Stephanie and Tracy. Nice to meet Hello. you. Hello. Hi, everybody. Thank you for having us. Oh, thank you for, thank you for coming. And so to give you all some context is that they both came on board to be one of the, one of the sponsors of The Art Woman, which is coming up March 1st to 3rd. We're really excited. And um, they are also going to be doing an amazing raffle during the three-day event. And you could tell us a little bit about what is that, what are people going to win when they enter the raffle? So we are going to raffle a free cruise. Wonderful. Free cruise. Yes. So um, that should get everybody excited. I think so. Free cruise. Free cruise. <laughs> right. So we're the, I think we charge them like, maybe like $10. So it's not, it's very little bit. To, to, to potentially win a lot, right? And I mean, it's supporting the art woman, right? Wonderful. We want to be sure that the, the, the funds are going towards the work you're doing. Wonderful. And so the $10, even if there was no prize, it's more than worth it. What? So Wonderful. the cruise is just a bonus, I think. Yes, yes it is. Yes, thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, of course. So, so, let me ask you this. So we are in, and let me welcome people who are watching. Please share this conversation. Please join our conversation, ask questions. Tracy and Stephanie are willing to ask, answer pretty much anything that you ask of them. You might uh, not like the answer, but you'll answer. <laughs> right? And um, so I want to start with that you're travel specialist, and I'm thinking that we're in an age where you know we can all we all have this thing called the internet, and we can book our own tickets. I remember back in the day we had to go to a travel agent. You know, it was very often maybe even on the telephone, but now with the internet, why why would people come to you to book a trip rather than just go on the internet? Well, we're offering expertise. We, we, we are required to do several, several hours of training. Well, um, so we're going to be giving you what Travelocity is and giving you what Expedia is and giving you from a destination expert perspective, from a product perspective. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to save you time for one. You don't have right. to sit there and browse a hundred and, try and track which is the best deal. Mm -hmm. um, we have insights into promotions that aren't out there. Right. Um, we have, and as cruise planners, it's a big name in the industry. So okay. there's value from that as well, where we're able to offer you um, promotions that are specific to cruise planners, because we're, we have such a great relationship with the suppliers. Mm -hmm. They'll give us um, specials that are okay. just if you book through So us. you have like certain relationships that can, that we're not going to be able to connect with, or people can't connect with on their own as individuals, right? Yes. yes. Right. So, um, one of the other values that I think is important to mention is most of the time this is at no cost to the consumer. Oh, well. Right? So, we're not coming to you and saying you need to pay specifically for our service. Now, there are some things that we do charge for, but an initial conversation, a lot of times we'll just provide information. There's people who have never been on a cruise or who have never traveled internationally and they don't know where to start. Right. So it's very right. intimidating to decide where you're going, where is it safe, what duration do you need to go for, and that's right. stuff that we can level set you off the bat. How much vacation time do you have? You want to go to Africa, but you only have five days, maybe not a good idea. Right, right. So right. there's a lot of conversational just questions which you don't have that kind of interface with the internet, right. unfortunately. And the follow-up. So what happens after you've booked? You got an email from Expedia saying you're booked, good you're to go. To church. No one. <laughs> Has anybody reminded you that you might need a visa to go to right. this place that you're trying to go to? Or does your passport have six months of validity left on it? Right. There's, you know, all kinds of questions that you might have. Do they take cash where you're going? Do they use mm. credit cards where you're right. going? There's just so you have actual conversations with people yeah. who are purchasing and making sure that yeah. they're, they're prepared. Yeah. We want right. them to have a good time because no matter what mm -hmm. goes wrong on the journey, mm -hmm. it's gonna be our fault. So we're gonna try <laughs> to get <laughs> off as many as like, we don't want. No yeah, reason. no drama. Do, do you have travel Which, insurance? That's a right. big thing for us. It's, right. We, we could talk all day. We could talk all day about travel about insurance. Travel insurance. Um, because I know you want to travel last day, you buy your ticket, and they give you that little box. It's like $20, $22. I, yeah. yeah. And I, you check, no, I don't want it, and you move along. You have no idea what you just gave up. Wow. Absolutely. Where we will go tell you, we'll give you details of here's what this will cover. There are things people don't consider, like natural disasters. Like, it's not just my, I miss my flight. Okay. It goes way beyond that. Um, I, I constantly remind people. So you think people should do that? 
Absolutely. I, wish you, Absolutely. I, I have people say to me, I have health insurance. And yep. I'm like, no, 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 it doesn't cover you beyond, <laughs> beyond the borders. Of the, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe Canada, but otherwise you will be paying cash. Okay. I, think, I think that's my soapbox. My soapbox is travel insurance. Get travel insurance, <laughs> even if you're buying on Expedia, even if you're buying okay. from whoever, travel insurance is an absolute must. Do not buy the vacation if you can't afford the travel insurance. That's wow. how serious it yes. is. Wow. Okay. We, we went to Thailand in September. September. Okay. Our luggage came three days later. Okay. Wow. So we had to go okay. shopping. Okay. <laughs> travel insurance paid for our shopping wow. trip. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, no. And our bags got lost in America. Because okay. sometimes people think, once I'm in the U.S., we're good. it's not a big deal. No. Our bags got lost in America. We missed our flights two hours after we started our journey. And we had to get everything. It was, it was a giant mess. But we went on a cruise a couple weekends ago. Stephanie did something to her husband. All of a sudden, he was in the, the infirmary. <laughs> like, no. What is that something you I, did? I, I didn't ask. I saw him the night before. He was perfectly fine. I saw him the next morning. He had a cane. Oh, my God. If you go on a cruise ship and you go to their medical center, even if it's Tylenol, it's going to cost $15 a pill. Wow. Yes. Okay. So a cane or or any kind of nausea drugs or anything you need, serious. You need that to get happens. her off insurance. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll okay. 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 You said you did say you did say it's your soapbox. It's my soapbox. <laughs> so I want to ask this. So you 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 the name of the business is, is cruise planners, but you don't only do cruises, right? No, we're a full service travel agency. Um, the franchise started out. Um, as just cruises okay. and the executives made the decision not to change the name because they'd already built a reputation About so cruises. now they essentially just tagged on your land and cruise specialist okay so that that's why so it's it's a franchise um independently owned and operated one of the great things about our franchise, it's not only the number one home-based franchise in the United States, it's also an American Express rep American Express representative. That means you've accumulated all your American Express points. Oh. We can use them to book your vacation. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Amen. So, so that's added value we have. No, yeah. and then, you know, the reputation that American Express has of doing business of a certain caliber is really good. With American Express and the relationship that we have with them, there are certain hotels and certain rates that we're able to unlock that are exclusive to anybody who represents Amex versus anyone else. So that's an important relationship to have. And Cruise Planners is not just the number one home-based franchise, but it's also the number one seller of sandals. It's okay, the number nice. one seller of several of the cruise lines. Yes. Um, Royal, NCL, Norwegian, Princess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. um, so because of the, the name and the amount of volume that we're doing, we're accessing prices and specials that people don't have. Okay, nice, nice. So let me, let's talk a little bit about who you guys are. Mm -hmm. Um, where you come from? Why are you both like into travel? Why pick travel? So let's I'll start with you, um, Stephanie. I'm Jamaican. I'm Jamaican. You can tell yeah, my yeah. accent. I'm not Irish. I've been asked that by oh Irish people in the last month. I'm yeah, not yeah. Irish. I've heard that people say <laughs> Jamaican accent sounds like yeah, Irish. Yes. There's there's a, 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 a Jamaican population yes. in Ireland. So okay. we're going to Ireland later this year, and I was October. Should, in October. 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 Yes. Come. yes, and I was told I should tell them I'm from Sligo. Sligo. That's where the Jamaicans are. Oh, interesting. Because I said to him, okay, I can't exactly blend in. Uh -huh. I'm dark skinned girl. Where can I say I'm from? And he says, Sligo. Sligo. Yeah. <laughs> and Irish and that's where we got Sligoville from. Sligoville? Yes. Okay. Um, so you're Jamaican, go ahead. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, I, I just, my passion is travel. So before okay. we even started this agency, I was always going on fantastic vacations and mm -hmm. planning up my stuff for me and my family. And in probably the last three years, my entrepreneurial spirit kicked in and okay. I wanted to do something that I love doing. Okay. So travel was my right. so good fit. You're already good traveling. Fit. I'm already yeah. traveling. I, I, I can add, I already start off along, I'm already ahead on the curve as far as adding value, being able to have conversations with right. people about travel and places. And you want this information as well. Like you, exactly. you're about having I, this information. I, I, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I have people say to me, I don't know how you do this all day. And I'm like, I love, love it. it. You <laughs> love it. You actually love it. I actually TV. love yeah. doing That's wonderful. it. That's wonderful. Um, and so it, it just it just was natural mm -hmm. to go with, go into this. So it was nice. more like finding the right fit and how to um, and go down the right path because right. the brick and mortar wasn't gonna work. Okay. Who does that? You don't need that. 
Um, so it was appealing. We want to appeal to how businesses don't know. Okay, great. And a lot of our platform is internet based. So we can acclimate to. So if you are, we I have clients who they want to make their payments themselves. They want to go online and search oh, themselves. You the, the, the link to they that. can do all of that themselves. So, okay, um, but that's a little bit about me. Okay. I travel with my kids, and my okay. husband a lot. Okay, nice. Um, and he wants to take them everywhere. So, Wonderful. little fact is, as of today. We've never had a just us vacation. Mm, okay, no, 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 thank you. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you. No, okay. But I want to hear from Tracy, but I gotta tell you, I want to know that you and your husband do a dinner. I will play this Please back do. for him. Please do. I think it's so important because similarly, I was married. I was married to a man who happens to be right here, David, and we raised our son. You mean sexy? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> David, aka sexy man. Um, and we traveled to. We mostly took them back to Jamaica. That was every every year at least. Jamaica. I think a lot of Jamaicans and American uh, abroad do that because they want the kids to get mm-hmm. that. But we went on other trips. We took them to England and France. I'm not sure where else we took uh, New York City, other places. But yeah. we traveled with them. We made sure we did probably an annual one or two trips as a family. But we also made sure we did just us because I feel and I feel it's important that you also have to have that time as 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 partners or lovers or husband and wife or wife and wife or Ricardo right so that's so, <laughs> I think it's so important Absolutely. you know because Absolutely. it's your family unit your mom and dad and your children but you're also Stephanie and mm-hmm. what's his name and right? you need to feed yeah. that part of the relationship yeah, I think right? so you can't have con- conversations that are all about logistics right who's picking the kids up who's right doing the homework? Yes. who's giving the baths no you need yeah. to connect and continue to date I, mean, um, I think what will happen, what, especially because you guys haven't done it, you're going to have, I still have, my kids are grown. I go on trips. I do some trips by myself quite a bit now. Most of the business that I have, business and pleasure, and I'll go, oh, my son would have loved this. Oh, this <laughs> one, so there is some kind yeah. of like, so there's some there grieving is. about the person not being there. Yep, yep. But so you miss them and you're going to, oh, he or she would have loved it. <laughs> but it's still like, it's still important that you have that trip for you guys. And We're gonna it. have one this year. Good, this good. Year. And plan mm-hmm. an annual one of you, of, of, of you right, guys, and then you, you, an annual or more of the family. Yes. You know, yes, ma'am. And yes, it, I think it's so important. So good, absolutely. Good, good. good. I'm so glad. <laughs> I want to hear more. Yes, good. Ricky's going, going to swear. swear. No, no, no. Ricky. Ricky's going to swear that I had something. No, no. <laughs> I literally, so I lectured him on this Christmas. Was it Christmas dinner? Christmas Eve. Yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah. I he was sitting at the dining table. I'm like, you guys need to do this. So. Yeah. I mean, and then now that my kids are older, what I've been doing is doing a trip with each, these two sons. Is that like 12? But with each, as I say, with each child. Mm. So like just a one-on-one. one-on-one. We do me and them, but sometimes it's just like, how about just me and you? Yeah. So as your kids get older, it's be like, you have a boy and a girl? Yeah. So it's like mommy, daughter, yeah. mommy, son. You know, when you get to the age where I think no one will be jealous of the other, because now yeah. these guys are fine. Yeah. You know, like, so I think that's important to just have that time. So. So yeah, so Tracy, <laughs> tell us about yourself. About what, me. What, brings you, what brings you into the travel world and so on? So I've been traveling from a very, very young age. Um, when I was three, I moved to London with my mother. She was going to school there nice. and my dad moved to, to New York. So when I was six, I started flying from London Heathrow to wow. JFK on my own. Wow. So it was in care of the airline. But now that I'm old enough and I'm a parent, I can't even <laughs> imagine <laughs> sending my son on Uber by himself. Wow. And literally right, right, it would right. be a transatlantic flight. Oh, and it was it was normal course of business. Right. I do that two or three times a year and spend time with dad and spend time with mom. And when we moved back to Jamaica, I'm also Jamaican. Um I would still do those trips with my dad or to my dad um, every 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 spring break, every winter break, every summer. Right. Um, my mother also was very involved in sports. My mother was a cricketer. Wow. Her yeah, mother's so. a big deal. I didn't, I didn't know they had. Is that horrible that they have women cricket teams? Yes. Sure. Our, women are, big deal. our women are 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 World Cup champions. In wow. Cricket wow. Time, West Indies. Yeah. Wonderful. Indies yeah. We're doing much well, better than the men. Mom are. for being like I mean, one of the trailblazers. Trailblazer. One of the trailblazers. So, um, in those days when you're paying your own travel and paying your own plane fare, I was like a hand basket, and I would go <laughs> to every island. I was in Dominica. I was in Saint Lucia. Nice. I was all over the Caribbean with her. Not because she had, we just didn't have a choice, right? Right, right, right. This is you're going with your mom. Yeah, yeah. And I, I and so it was normal to me mm-hmm. to have different experiences with different people, taste different types of food, and I thought that everybody did that. 
Uh, and when I got to the age where I realized most people didn't, I was just flabbergasted. Wow. I think travel just opens conversations. I right. think you don't have anything in common with somebody. And when you can both say, oh my God, there's this restaurant in, in London where they serve this little tea cake and somebody says, yes, I know it. There's an instant connection. Yeah. Whatever it is, I think we are able to set aside lots of other differences if we find these little commonalities. Right. And there's some things and some places that you visit that you can't hold the same opinions that you held before you got there. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? We went to, when we were in Thailand, um, they have this big ladyboy culture in Thailand. Oh, yes. And I had never been exposed to it. Like I've gone to um, Lips in Fort Lauderdale right. and seen the drag show and whatever, but I never had an appreciation for the part that's behind the show. Okay. And we went to Thailand and we met some people and they explained the process Mm. of becoming a lady boy and I'm like mm. I have a new respect mm. for the people that do that mm. and a new understanding of the fact that it can't be something that you just get up and decide to do no, it no. has to be something that was internal right. that was trying to, to to come out and there was nothing you could mm. do apart from listen to that inner voice right because of the process that you have to go through and I wouldn't have had that insight before September. Okay, and would you say the lady boys are similar to trans women here or more like drag queens? No, like, I, I think they're before. more like trans. Okay. Um, and they're different. They're different, they're different. Yes. Drag, different queens is like, so, drag queens is like performance. Yeah. And trans is like, that's who you are. So, so, they so there was both. There, we, met, we met one person who would, who was a guy every day, owned a club, very successful businessman, and then once a month he would fly Go to Bangkok, to Bangkok and as a girl and just oh, have fun. Okay, interesting. But we met more people who were in the roles for that's who full, time. full time. Right, so that's like and trans. There was, yeah. there was one person, what was her name? Was her name G? Mm. On who owned the boat. Bibi. Bibi. So she was from a Muslim town in the middle of the ocean in Thailand. Like oh, it's a like floating village wow. that has less than, maybe less than 500 people and they're all Muslim. And she was, was, was a lesbian. And she okay. grew up in this culture where clearly that would not be what her parents would, would want, want for her. Mm -hmm. And she is now living her life and still going to visit her family and has actually now bridged the gap where she carries tourists to this island, to this okay. exclusive island, for glimpses of this other side of life. Oh, nice. And nice. so she's, she's, she's living full time as who she is. Okay, she is. beautiful. I'm glad to hear that. So, when people like, so, you know, Laura Woman is uh, mostly LGBTQ women and our allies, of course. Um, do you have suggestions for people in our community of like places to go or places not to go or some places, even like Jamaica, some people say, don't go, I go. Uh, but to, like challenges that we may face, like absolutely. What are your thoughts on that? So there's there, there's a couple of things. Um, firstly, our website, um, our company, Cruise Planners on a Whole, is very 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 invested in the LGB, LGBT community. Okay, great. Um, one of our founders mm -hmm. is is lesbian, okay. and she ensures that every single thing that we're doing is equally done. Okay, if we have right. a resort for people who like donkeys, we need to have a resort for people who like green, we need to have right. a, she's very, very invested in making sure everything's diverse. Okay, nice. um, so our websites all have LGBT resources okay, um, and we have specific vendors who only do LGBT travel as that's well. Good, that's good. Um, so we do have resources. What I will say though about places to visit and places not to visit, including Jamaica. Jamaica is a homophobic place. Mm -hmm. There is no, there right. is no mm -hmm. doubting that. However, I don't think it's any different from the kind of smarts that you would need to have that you were visiting any other country. Right, right. If, you, if I was going to Mississippi as a black woman, mm -hmm. I would need to be careful. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same thing with travel overall. Right. Women shouldn't be going to certain places alone at certain times. Right, where regardless you are. Regardless of where, where they are, are. regardless of right. their sexual Miami. orientation. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's common, it's so, common so sense. A lot of it yeah. is common sense, but we right. will, we do have places, and there's a list, there's even a list on our, on our website at Garda Travel um, of the top 20 destinations for, okay, great. for, um, for gay and, and we're putting the couples. links um, for, for the, your website here and for your, okay, Facebook here. Oh, they will come here eventually. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, there. All right. Okay. So, they're there. so that will come up. Yeah. And I know what you're saying because, so I've gone to Jamaica a few times. I mean, most of my years going to Jamaica and living there, I was straight. 
tomboy but not as masculine as I present now. So I didn't think about it. But once I started going like with a woman, then it became something that I had to be more aware of. And you do feel places where you know like, hey, like don't we can't hold yeah. hands here. Yeah. And some places like I went to funny enough we were at the Bob Marley Museum and I saw uh, like a maybe a, a Latina co couple, man and woman, and they started holding hands. And I saw somebody and I felt like I felt okay. I felt yeah. like nothing's happening in here. I felt really safe. We went to Devon House. Mm -hmm. And I felt safe at Devon House. But we went to other places where I, I you just know, I'm like, I'm not gonna No, it's yeah. so different than yeah. you're holding on your purse. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> exactly. and and you know, you know the places you're like, I don't you kinda of feel it. You're like No, and, and would and because you are gay does not mean that that was what the feeling was. Right, right. I could have been that I could have been there with my boyfriend and I said, didn't feel this safe is a place either. where right. I need to stay on my guard as well. Right, and right. so this is not the place to look lovey dovey exactly. and like start, start yeah. yeah. And in some places too, I know this Jamaica guy even had it um, when I wasn't with women that some part of the culture is not wanting PDA. Like exactly. So uh, you know where exactly. some people might feel like this is too much. Well, yeah. some, I think America is much more accepting of you yeah. know PDA. Yeah. You could be on the subway in New York City, people could kiss. Jamaica doesn't really have that no. as much. So whether you're a heterosexual or, or, exactly. or a gay couple, it could be like, that's too much for us type yeah. thing. Yeah. But and for Jamaica, I mean, if you're going to an all-inclusive resort, if you're going to most of the tourist areas, you're going to be completely fine. Right, right. You're going to be completely fine. Because the staff um, is aware, because you're dealing with staff and tourists, right? Absolutely. That's their bread and butter. Right. So I, I would just say, you know, just be aware of your surroundings. The same way you don't walk on the streets of New York without jewelry, you don't go to downtown Kingston by yourself at night. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what your travel advisor is for. Because you can be honest, you can be open. Mm -hmm. You can ask. Right, right, right. This is the type of experience I'm looking Because you could be going with your kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a family vacation. There doesn't need to be any... It's a family vacation. Mm -hmm. What's good for me and these are the age of my kids and that's what you're focused on. Or I'm going on a romantic vacation, then we may need to ask a few more questions. Right. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. So it depends on the type of vacation you're having. Right. So there's no place where we're going to stretch out the list and say, never go here. No, it, no. it depends on right. what, what type of vacation you're looking for and the experience you're looking to have. You may say, you know what? I want to go see downtown Kingston. And then right. we can advise you and say, here are the things to keep in mind. Right. Mm -hmm. And you keep those in mind because you want to go see downtown Kingston. Exactly. But it's a kind of, it's in the back of my head. Right. And not be oblivious. Oblivious. Right, right, um, right. You said something and I and I want to um to, 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 to kind of go back to it. One of the most important things or advantages of a travel advisor is having a relationship. A relationship that's not transactional. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when people ask the same, what, why, why do we need a travel agent question? Right. We say a travel advisor, which is what Stephanie and I are, is akin to your financial planner. Okay. So the same way that your financial planner is an expert in what stocks to buy, what mm -hmm. to hold, what mix of, of allocations of, 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 of whatever you're investing in to have, it's the same way your travel advisor is supposed to be the person that sits down with you and plans out what do you want to do? What are your goals? What are your dreams? Where do you yeah, want to yeah, go? Yeah. And it's not based on a weekly travel Zoom yeah. email saying, oh, it's $20 to go to Kentucky. Right. And then you decide to go to Kentucky. But what are you interested in? What do right. you want to find out? You're from Jamaican heritage. Do you want to go to Ghana? Do right. you want to see the Ashanti tribe? Do you want mm. to see the places where, you know, yeah, so we I need to it. sit down yeah, and have right. a conversation. And what happens is that builds over time. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, okay, I want a plane ticket to, to New right. York. No, you can't get that yourself. Right. What yeah. I'm here for is to open the world to you. I love to that. say, yeah. do you realize things that people think are, are not in their reach? Right. Thailand is not that far away. Thailand is accessible. Hey, you're thinking about going to Tahiti? It's been a dream. You saw an ad when you were six years old. That's something that go. we can yeah, do. Right. And regardless of your budget, we can save to get you there. Mm, right? There's well, a way to do it. So okay. it's, not, it's not, maybe you can do it in October. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to do it in 2021. Yes. I see there's a question. I saw something go by. David? Nick Harris says, I hear them and love what they do, but I refuse to go places I know I'm not welcome. Any comments? Ooh, tons of comments. Um, as a black woman, if I had that stance, I think I would be stuck at home full time. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there's places I'm not welcome all the time. I think sometimes my son makes me not welcome at my own <laughs> house. So if I am sitting here and going to not do something I would like to do because of somebody else's thoughts, I don't know that I'm living my life. I think they're winning and, and I'm feeling trapped. Mm. So I think once safety is not a concern, that I'm going to go places and, and open the world for other people. Mm -hmm. So maybe if Nick is not as comfortable doing something, if there's a Stephanie and a Tracy and a G who do it before and kind go of them. let yeah. that like, widen that avenue, mm -hmm. then it gives more people comfort. Okay. So one of the things we do do is group travel. Okay. Stephanie and I love to go with groups. We'd love to escort a group with you guys wherever right. in the world we decide to go. our woman trip, right? Absolutely, because yeah. what happens You heard is, it here first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. happens is some places are intimidating. Yeah, right. And you might not have a significant other or a friend. Yeah. You might want to go with people right. so you feel a part of a group. Yeah. We do that. I like too. that idea. I like that. Okay, we have another question coming in. I know you're Jamaican, but try not to say, do I do back to back? Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, that's, that's your question. No. Come on, come no. with your question. That's just a comment. Question. Tell us more about the different types of travel that exist. You mentioned all inclusive. What about Airbnb and the different things in between? What are some of the things you can facilitate? Okay, so we do um, group, tra we mentioned group travel, and group travel can be done as an escorted group. Mm -hmm. So it's a guided tour. We contract with a guided tour provider and they give you an itinerary and it's pretty much fixed. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. Sometimes you're able to switch out hotels because that's something we'll do. If I'm doing a custom group, I can look at the hotels that the tour provider says, here's where you're staying. And I can send them a note and say, I don't like this one. Can you find a better alternative? So that's one way to do group travel. Then there's also something called an independent travel group. Okay. So we're we're putting together you give us your dream itinerary okay we put the pieces together for you and okay. you still get the opportunity to travel as a group okay then you have the family travel you have the individual travel um there are cruises you just want to go explore a city so if mm -hmm. you say hey just find me a nice hotel find me some things to do i'm good on my own i'm comfortable we can do that um in south florida Cruises is a big thing. Yeah, right. They mm -hmm. they are popping them out. They are mega mansions on the sea. They're awesome. That's one. Of, I have bachelor cruises. I have bachelorette cruises. Oh, nice, I have nice. birthday cruises. Um, um, I have yeah, we got our woman cruises. We got um, my mother-in-law's gym group. Yes, <laughs> yes. her mother-in-law's gym group of seventy. <laughs> 70 oh, plus year old. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Going so, on the so, Panama Canal together. Yeah, they're, they're yeah so they're doing, so it's it's whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I will, we're, there are, and as far as one big concern we run across is budget. Okay. Um, how you can allow for your budget is planning ahead because a lot of companies will allow you to do a deposit and you pay as you go along. Mm -hmm. And then the other way, there there is, I'm not going to say we're, um, Budget provider, no, but but there's a there's a level for everybody. Okay, yeah. So you can figure, yeah, you can figure we, we can figure it out. Right. Um, that's one of the most difficult questions I find that people people hate don't answering they, they that they question. Hate answering. Yeah, and money is a tough yeah. one. And, and yeah. that's why it comes back to the financial advisor yeah. again, because again, people don't know what the number is. How how much do you want to retire? Nobody knows the answer no. to that right. without digging deep. And that's why we have conversations. It's, it's, yeah. private. it's a private. Yeah. So we don't yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and that's what consultations do. Mm -hmm. So in conversation, you and I will sit down for thirty minutes and we'll be able to to get to what is your budget. But just to yeah. finish the answer to that question. We said all inclusives. We said we have bed and breakfast. We have villas. There are Airbnbs available. And so it depends on your travel style. Right. And the, the way that you want to travel today for this trip might be different from the way that you want to travel next year. Right. Depending right. on your right. destination. Different audience and different right. destination exactly. or a different purpose for the trip. Exactly. So it's difficult to just spit them all out. It again comes down to a one on one and what's best for you in this moment. Yeah, I wanted to see here. Nick is saying, okay, still hasn't been in Jamaica. What does Nick say about that, David? He said, I go lots of places. Safety is a concern some places. Right. Well, yeah, but you could, I mean, you could come to Jamaica with me, Nick. I, it, <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing. Like like we said earlier, there's an awareness of, of where you can be, who you are in some ways. 
you know? And, so and, I, and you're saying this is an open invitation that she should leave her girlfriend behind and go with you? Well, she could bring her girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, both of you guys could go. Both, yeah, Nick's my pal. So maybe they could go, but Nick could also bring, we could plan a trip. Where you guys can all come and you would we would be we safe. We would love to plan a trip. Yeah, <laughs> hey, here they we can plan a trip for us. There's a Pride event in August that I, I, that I haven't gone to. I've gone two times to the Pride event in Jamaica, in Montego Bay Pride in October, but I've been wanting to go to the one in August, which is centered around Kingston, which is where I grew up. So something like that, where a few of us go, and I think especially if it's centered around a Pride event, where you know like you're going to be more safe because. You know the things are in place for our community, yeah. but yes, yeah, so, so you're gonna you know you're coming to Jamaica at some point, so and we'll be we will be fine. Hey, Christy, thanks for joining. Christy, I know does a lot of travel as well, and Nick does a lot of travel. So yeah, um, any any other questions there? Not yet. Okay, okay, cool. So yeah, so I wanted to ask you. So um, and let me big up your sister-in-law, Carrie. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie, for connecting us. What made you feel that you wanted to uh, come on board with Thou Art Woman? Well, um, other than Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. I, I, think, I think we grow mm -hmm. when we have diversity. Okay. And my personal thought is if, if we have enough reasons in the world to mm -hmm. hate people, mm -hmm. we're not building it. We're not trying to find new ones. And at the end of the day, the more we know about someone else, mm -hmm. that makes me smarter right. that makes me I mean, this a bigger me. person in that I, I mean i think we we more acceptance is needed um and we thought we want to diversify us our our clientele yes. base um but just getting to know other people yeah um, i love it and and yeah it's def we're definitely here to learn. Yeah. We are not coming touting ourselves as we know everything mm -hmm. about the community. We're here saying we're here to answer questions and to ask questions that mm -hmm. will help us do a better job okay. for you guys. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's and that's the only way. That's so, the only way. Conversations yeah. like this queer. Yeah, because I'm yeah. I'm gonna be texting Carrie because that's what I what does this mean? Uh, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, and for those of you who missed it, they, they will be at the Dar Woman events Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we'll be re raffling off a three-day cruise. So you'll get to meet them in person. So you'll meet a lot Looking of people. Looking forward to it. Looking forward um, to it. Another question? No, I was actually just going to ask that you do exactly what you just did. But I would like for you to just give a little more detail. Tell people how do they interact with this Raffle and give more. Okay, so there will be, thank you. So the first event is going to be at the 1310 Gallery. It's called At the Edge. It's our art exhibit. It's going to be at the 1310 Gallery in Fort Lauderdale. We're starting at 6 p.m. And um, there will be a table where they're going to, uh, we're charging $10 for a raffle. Just you give your information and you get a raffle ticket. Saturday, our event is at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. That starts at 7. Doors open at 6, but the production starts at 7. But we are telling people to come early. You'll meet them and purchase your raffle ticket and get to know them and they get to know you. And then Sunday at the brunch is at 10.30 is at the Riverside Hotel. And that's where we're going to announce the winner at that time. So um, we'll have... You guys, you ready for that weekend? We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're pumped. To it. Good. It's going to be a lot. So it's like, you know, and the art woman had done 10 previous one-nighters. Um, probably two to three times a year. So this is our first three-day three weekend. So we're looking forward to it as well. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to have you on board. Um, and I love what you're saying in terms of wanting to get to know us. And we get. And I, I, I love travel. And it's also opening my mind and people in the community's mind at the concept of what you're saying. Because I, so, I do get my tickets on Travelocity. And then I'm sure you can do both, right? You can do some trips with you, do some trips with... Oh, and and, and, and yeah. you can still ask questions right so sometimes people will come and at the end of the day based on what they're saying we'll say you know what travel off they might be the best bet mm -hmm. yeah, in right. this situation for you just go ahead and do that we yeah. think this is but what yeah we but do. now we want a trip where we're bringing nick and a bunch of us are going to jamaica that's we not like a travel off today trip right so yeah that's <laughs> not a travel off right. so <laughs> who's planners come help us or we're going to i would love to go to ethiopia or cuba we're, we're going, going to we're going to africa 2020. okay i would we're, love we're planning which country so we're going to ghana we're going to where where else were so we, we want to so we would start in ghana and we'd go south um, depending on 
time yeah mm-hmm. how much time people have because we, we don't want to make it a two-week trip because okay. most people, people, have, to have, to people have to get back to work okay, we're so, so we're thinking ten ten we're, still, we're still we're still in the in the planning stages we're working with a vendor um south african airlines okay so as soon as we have it um well, I don't know. We'll I have not been. So. But yeah, no, keep it's on my okay. vision board. It's on yeah, my 2020 20 vision yeah. board. So I'm going. Yes. I'm definitely I would like to, yeah. well, Okay, gay, straight, or bi advocating for sisters is very positive. We are all women. First, uh, oh, I commend you. Okay, I am. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Agreed. Yes, I agree thank 100%. You. you had something else over there? I did, but it's not that important. Anyway. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to see the time here. I think we'll be wrapping up. Oh, um, man, that was quick. That went by really quick. <laughs> really? Because I'm going to double check see if there's anything else. Yeah. Yes. Anything else over there? No, I was actually just going to ask if you guys could elaborate more. Because here's the thing. Some people who didn't catch us right at the beginning wouldn't know some of the details. And even I don't know. So is it a surprise what the raffle winning is? Or do we have more information today? Or do not yet Sure. What, what, what is it that we should expect? The raffle is a three-day cruise. So if we're cruising out of Miami or Fort Lauderdale, you likely be going to Mexico, the furthest, or the Bahamas. So and if I wanted to upgrade, is there an option? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So they would what then so pay you, to upgrade? So you pay to upgrade and we would apply the value of the, the cruise is $1,000. Oh, nice, nice, So nice, we would yeah. apply that value towards an upgrade. So say okay. you, you've you been there. To to yeah, I want to go to Alaska. It doesn't matter where you go. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. I love it. Yeah. So, that. That's you, a great you point. A, yeah. so thanks for pointing out that's that sexy point. man. That's All right. A awesome. Point. So yeah. okay. So let's so to make it clear. So during the Dawa Woman Weekend, which is March first through third, cruise planners will be there. We'll be selling raffle tickets for ten dollars, and you can win a cruise, three day cruise that's valued at one thousand dollars. Right, it's for two people. For two right? people. So yeah, because who wants to go by themselves? So you got a ticket, you take somebody with you, and then if you say, hey, I, I've been to Mexico or Bahamas, or I don't want to go to those places, I want to go to Alaska. I want to go to a European European. Cruise. You sp- spend a little bit more, and you get to go wherever you want to go. So that's a, that sounds like yeah. a great, that's a great deal. <laughs> that, that is a wonderful deal. A great deal and a great cause. Yeah, yeah so thank you so much. Nice we really appreciate the support of Dar Oman. We really appreciate it. We're, we're really yeah. excited. We, yes. we truly are. Um, we have not been to a three-day event yes. as a sponsor yet. Yeah. Okay. We've been to a two-day. Okay. So let's get some friends. Yeah, and, and it was it was rough. Yeah. It was rough. So the good um, part, because I've I've been envisioning it. So I'm thinking Saturday morning till the afternoon is just like stay in a bed. That's what I, I want to stay like this as much as I can. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. <laughs> she has a she has a staff. I'm oh, like, please, okay. please, please. stop. No, I mean, because I can do I will bet about money it. on Because I can do a lot from a computer. So I can bring my laptop in the bed if I have to write anything. Or You're not even going to sleep the night Oh, no, no. I have to because, okay, so Saturday night, me and my pal Nick, who's on, we actually host that event. So we're going to be hosting a two and a half, three hour show. So I have to be fully. You're going to be going on adrenaline. Like, I think if you think it, you're fooling yourself. I really do. This, you might be right. I know you just met me, but you might, you might, you might, you, you might really be right about that. Oh, my gosh. So, okay, but, but, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, for sure. And then so Sunday, it's, we made it 1030 at the brunch. It's not too early, you know, and it's, so I feel like it's a good time. I think, like, I wake up about 530, 6 o'clock in the morning. So even people who wake up more normal times, mm-hmm. 8 and so on, 7, they can come over to I'm the glad you said normal time. Five thirty is not she's, normal. She's not an early bird, no. and I am. And we're on opposite schedule, so she's texting me at midnight, and I'm texting her at five a.m. Wow! Yeah. And we had mentioned this before that. So I saw the pictures that we used for the the advertisement of your show, of you being on the show, and you present kind of like you guys could be a couple. I know. Yeah. Right? So, so how is that for you guys? Do you have that where people think sometimes? I am sure they do. I, but the thing is, I'm sure we're not aware of it. Right. Because right. we know we're not a couple. Right. And so we're not getting that projection that people are. Right. Right. Are and your body language us. and so on is no. probably but not. But we're completely thing. comfortable. Okay. We sleep in the same bed all the time. Okay. Um. <laughs> they, they wanted us to share a cut at JFK. Yes. Jet Blue Day. Um, um. They probably assume at some point. <laughs> yeah. They can leave the problem here. But that's but, great. But, but it's fine. Like, yeah, what would be wrong with that? Exactly. That's where we are. And I love that's where we are. Yeah. So wonderful. So, yeah, I want to thank you both. I could do the... worse than Stephanie. Yes. And she could do worse than yes. me. Yes. That, <laughs> I am intellectually sexy. <laughs> so, please <laughs> understand I would be a catch. Okay. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> You'll be catch in many other reasons, both of you as well. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh, but but you're taken. <laughs> I'm taken. All right. Sorry, Tracy. No, oh, she's, she's taken. She's taken. Oh, yeah, you're taken as well. She is. Yeah, but I love that you have this uh, friendship and you do business together. I can tell you're your business partners, but you're also you know. have a great friendship. Yeah, we get we get asked like we'll go to conferences and stuff. We, we just and people ask us, "Are you guys sisters?" Okay. Like, no, like you, you guys are just a riot. It, it's because um, we're tough skin people. Okay. It's where yeah. we're from, and. Um, we, we we're open we openly communicate so it works mm -hmm. um so. and i think we're different enough mm -hmm. i think together we're one great individual okay like <laughs> <you said that. laughs> we're pretty flawed okay. but no and, and even great. even in the planning even sometimes when stephanie will come to me and say oh i have a client who's doing this i'll be able to give her a take on it that she wouldn't necessarily have okay and she will be able to bring some Sometimes she'll have to pull me down out of the clothes and be like, hey, that's not realistic. That's not yeah, realistic. Yeah. <laughs> right. But no, what I want him to do is so bad. No. It's so good. That's and she'll be like, yeah, but it's not possible. Okay. And yes. so it's a really it's good a reality balance. check. I'm the reality check. Reality check. check. Yeah. Is I am the optimist and okay. the dreamer, and, and it works. It's a great balance. It works. Great, great, great balance. Well, having both of you on has been a great pleasure. Thanks for having And us. having you on board for the Dar Woman weekend, get your rest that week. And it's funny, it feels, it's like, it's the shortest month, I guess, February, right? So it's, it feels like it might be a little far away, but it's right there. No, it's, really, it's really right there. So it's just two weeks and a few days, mm -hmm. and we'll be here, 1310, and then Broad Center and Riverside. So we look you. forward to seeing you all. We Come can't on wait. Get your tickets, Coming everybody. in numbers, buy five tickets, buy 10 tickets. Yes. Did you guys reserve your room with the door when we at Riverside? Because you guys can't be driving back We can't, well, I'm, I'm in Tamarack. Oh. oh, so okay. So then you okay. Can stay in house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah. So everybody, buy your tickets. The tickets are available at Ticketmaster. I know the links are there for all three events. Uh, go to the Dart One page, and tickets for all three events are there. Look forward to you. There's a couple more weeks. Looking forward to the event. Thank you again. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you at next next two weeks. Next two weeks. Yeah, March first through third. Oh, and I should, my, my new hairstyle. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. I, like it. I don't know how long it's going to last. So I just was looking and I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs>